Hi and welcome. Today we'll be doing a little bit of dark processing, contrast, high contrast, highlights, and a little bit of fairy tale stuff with the photography. Bokeh photos. So we start with something like that. Then we add a little bit of diffusion glow, a couple of color grading parts, and we get something like this. So let's dig in layer by layer how you can do this. First of all, you get you have your image. I already added it from filters, blur, and, gauge, and diffuse glow. This is the Orton effect. I didn't have the layer, so I added this up front. So I will have this as this. This is the fairy tale look as easy as possible you can get. Just Google Orton effect or click the link above and then you're golden. Now we can make some dark processing things with that. So let's go layer by layer. First of all, I crashed the green colors as you can see here. This is before, this is the after. So I will bump up the yellows and reds later on. Crash the shadows. We want to have a lot of contrast, so it will be dark processing. The whole image should be dark, moody, dramatic, with a very bright highlight spot somewhere or spots in the photography, like here. So I bump, I crash the shadows. Remember, it's nice to have that shadows are barely visible, like. I get a another layer with shadows because it is easier for me to also to add a couple of layers and make very small adjustments so it will be easier. The main idea is to have some details in the shadows. So when someone looks at this, he's going like, hmm, there is something there. Let me really take a look into this. So they will spend more time on your image and maybe they will have more fun with this because they will have to figure out everything what is on the photography. Or maybe they have the attention span of a goldfish and after three seconds they will scroll down nobody knows but the idea is just okay so we got crushed our shadows it's pretty much adding contrast all around right white balance everything went to yellowish and orange color because i like this also i added lens filter adjustments additionally so there will be more color i added saturation also to bump up the colors later on because it was not enough for me still and the biggest part and the most important part I left for the end, it's dodge and burn with the brightness and dodge and burn with the sharpener, with the unsharp mask, with sharpness. The main idea for the brightness is you just simply add the brightness slider, add the brightness to the whole image. And if you, if those spots look okay to you, then you control I invert the mask so the mask is not working and then you paint in with the white brush all the elements that you would like to have brighter just like here under the brush when moving your mouse see that it will get brighter and how much brighter so that's the bottom line you just simply paint whatever you need and that's it so you will add this contrast the bright elements will draw the eye draw the attention of the viewer and additionally also in the same way do the unsharp mask, add sharpness to those brighter part, so the attention will be a lot easier to get. The eye usually goes there where there is contrast, sharpness, and it's easier to distinct what is it in the image. If everything is fuzzy and blurry, you don't really care. Your eye eyesight will be very quickly tired, and if those sharper parts will be there, I will go straight there, and afterwards, hopefully, it will be able to start figuring out what what is there in the background, in the foreground, whatever you have in the shadows and in the blacks. And then you have it. And on the end, as I said, add in Affinity, you can add filters, blur, diffuse glow, and you will have nice Orton effect to add this little bit of fairy tale look. And that's it. This is how you can dark process your image. So this is this is the before. And this is the after. Do you like it? Hit me up in the comment sections if you have any questions, feel free to ask, and bye for now.